Carrie with Canary Quilts and we are now starting month two of the 11th Simple What Nots Miniature Quilt Club. It's a lot to say. It always is. Anyway, month two is a table runner and it's called County Fair. <clears throat> and if you're following along with me, you probably got the same package of materials as I did. If you're watching for fun, this is what you get. You get all the materials plus a whole lot more because I've cut everything out already of material with this club. So in the end, after eight months, we're going to have a lot of material left. But anyway, today we're going to get started with cutting our materials. Um, it's a little different. You're cutting by block. And there's two different churn dash blocks in here. There's flying geese and there's hourglass blocks. So you cut your fabric by block. So we're going to go through that and then we're going to get started on the hourglass blocks, which I have completed and I have right here. Aren't they cute? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, we're going to cut and organize our fabrics by block and then we're going to start working on the hourglass blocks. So let's get started and if you want to follow along, if you're just watching, or if you're actually doing with this, this with me, you can hit subscribe on my channel and uh, hit the bell to get notified when I put out uh, the videos for all of these. So I do have a schedule. It's up on the website and it's down below in the description uh, for this month too. And I also have a lot of other things. I do box openings and I'm doing a US States quilt block journey if you wanna follow that. So just hit subscribe. So let's get started on cutting our uh, fabric and doing our hourglass blocks. Okay, let's get started on our cutting our fabrics for month two of the 11 Simple Whatnots Club. It's called County Fair, and it's a 12 and a half by 24 and a half table runner. So what I have out in front of me is what they sent me. Um, we've got five assorted cream colors. We've got the assorted colors. Uh, this is the binding, the black, and then the backing. So right here's the binding, and here's the backing. And I'm gonna put the backing aside because we don't need it till the end. And then the next page gives you the item numbers in case you need to reorder or look it up or you know just use it as reference, I guess. And these are ordered in their item number order. So that's why there's a, they're not really like, it's not like ordered by the cream colors or anything like that. And it also tells you what size you got. Like most of these, all these here look like they're chubby sixteenths, which is nine inches by 10 and a half inches. And then the cream colors are skinny eights, which is four and a half by 21 inches. And then the uh, binding is a fat quarter. So that's just telling you the colors and how big they are. So to get the cutting, we're gonna start with Cutting our binding, uh, two and a half by 21 inches, you'll need four strips for this. And then we're gonna cut our hourglass blocks. And then we're gonna cut each, we've got a churn dash, uh, we got two churn dash blocks in here. These are the churn dash blocks, and there's eight of these churn dash styles, and then three of these. So we're gonna cut by block. So we're gonna cut first the churn dash A pieces, and then we're gonna cut the churn dash B pieces. And then the edge of the pattern has flying geese. So then we'll cut the flying geese pieces and then uh, we will be done with our cutting. So that's how we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut by the pieces we're gonna make. 
So I'm going to get started here with, I will cut the, uh, start at the beginning, I'm going to cut the binding strips. The binding strips are going to be two and a half inches, which is what I usually do for um, projects that I'm going to keep for myself that are going to hang in my home or be on my own table because I sew my binding on unless it's going to be something that, that's going to be outside the house or in a show, I guess. So two and a half inches binding. And they say for this we're going to need four strips. So. Okay, there's our binding. This is the extra fabric, which we will need for, we will put it in with our assorted fabrics for our other blocks. So I'm just going to get these pinned, and I'm also going to set these aside with our backing, because we won't need this till the end. Okay, here's the fabrics to cut out for the hourglass. And like I said, I'm going to use 10 fabrics, which will give me 20 extra triangles. Um, but I want to have 10 different fabrics in my hourglass pieces. And you need five of the cream color fabrics. So what we're going to do is from each square or from each fabric, we're going to cut a square and then we're going to cut that square in half. So I'm going to get started on cutting these out and get our triangles ready. Okay, so at this point you're going to want to, we're going to want to start um, cutting all our squares into triangles. And to do that we're going to cut diagonally to both corners. So I just lay my ruler down from corner to corner and I'll cut uh, that diagonal and then I'll turn it over and I will cut the other diagonal once I figure out how to get my ruler. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, corner to corner, cut on the diagonal, and you'll have your four triangle pieces at this point. And then you'll finish doing that with all the squares we just cut. Same thing with our cream fabrics. We're going to cut our square and then we're going to cut on the diagonal to get four triangles and we'll do that with all five pieces so that we get 20 triangles. I'm going to need 10 hourglass pieces which means I'm going to need all 20 of these. So I'm just going to randomly put 10 together so I have different ones in each piece and then I've got my 10 put together and then I'll add my colors and we'll have like hopefully 10 random sets of hourglass.
Okay, there we go. So let's do this. One, two. There we go. There's our 10 random hourglass blocks already set up in the different blocks. We just need to sew them together. Here's our extras, which I may sew together and make a little mug rug out of for my coffee. Okay, so I am going to get these pinned together so that when I'm ready to sew, I'm ready to go. There's my hourglass uh, sets ready to go and get sewn together. So I'm going to keep those off to the side on their own. Okay, we're going to start cutting churn dash A. And we need eight sets for churn dash A. And you need four prints for each block. So I cut a block so that we could visualize what we're cutting and how we're choosing our fabrics. So churn dash A looks like this. So we've got our center, we've got our corners, and we've got the stripes blocks in between right here. <clears throat> so the way they want you to cut is this is fabric one, the center, this is fabric two, one of the stripes. Fabric three is one of the stripes and one of the corners. And then fabric four is one of the corners. So you choose four fabrics and then you cut all of that out of there. So that's how we're going to be choosing our fabrics. So I'm gonna push this up here and I've got all my assorted fabrics over here. What I wanna do, whoops is I want to choose four fairly corresponding fabrics. Um, let's go with a dark blue for the center. Um, <clears throat> how about a gold? and a red for the stripes. And then we will do a red and how about this green for the corners. So this is gonna be my centerpiece, the blue is, which is here. This is going to be one of my stripes. This is going to be one of my stripes and one of my corner pieces. And this is going to be the other corner piece over here. So I'm going to start in order. And I'm going to start cutting my corner or my center piece here. Square. So this is my second block and there's my centerpiece. So we don't need this fabric anymore. This is my second fabric and I need a strip out of this. So I'm going to get my bigger And you just need one strip. That's our second fabric. So our third fabric is going to need two cuts out of it. So the first thing I'll do is the first thing they tell me to do, which is cut the strip. So 
there's my strip. And I'm going to need two squares. Calls for one and seven eight squares. I'm going to cut two inch squares and then when I put my half square triangles together, I'm gonna square it off there to the size I need. And these we need to cut into the triangles. So you cut on the diagonal. So you end up with four triangles. Done with that color. And then this green. We need two squares again cut on the diagonal. There we go, that is a block. So these are gonna go together like that. These are gonna go together like this. So the corner and the center and another corner. And then you'll have these all the way around and then that's our center. So we'll just keep this together also into, we'll just clip all of these together into their own little pile so that when we come to it we know which block we're building. Same thing with this one. So now I have two out of the eight cut for the block. So I'm going to get my other eight cut exactly like that and then we'll get on to cutting for churn dash B. Okay, here's my pieces for churn dash A block. Now we're going to cut B block and the B block is built just like the A block except it's going to have some cream prints in it but we're still going to need four of the assorted prints. And this is what we're going to cut out of the four assorted prints. And you'll get four different prints. You're going to cut the two strips, each from a separate print, the middle from a separate print, and then four triangles from a fourth print. The fifth print on this one will be the cream colors. And I'll cut those at the end because they'll also be cut for the flying geese that we're going to be doing. So right now, I am going to grab four separate prints, and we only need three of these. So let's grab four separate prints, cut them out, and then set those three aside. And I'll show you when I'm done, what I've done. But I'll get the first one cut right now. So there's my eight churn dash A. Let's grab some four prints. One, two, three, four. How's that for four prints? So I think I want my light to be in the middle. So I will cut my middle square. I will cut my strips. One of my strips from the second print. And 
from my third print. I think I'll do the green. I will cut my second strip. And then from my fourth color, I will cut the square, the triangles. And again, I'm doing these at two inches, and then I will cut them down to size after I sew them together. <clears throat> the first four prints and I'm going to cut the cream prints in a minute. So I'm going to set these aside as a set. We only need three so they won't get in the way. So there's one churn dash B waiting for cream prints. So let's grab some more colors. So there's my third churn dash B. Okay, so we need to cut six squares that are two inches each. And then cut those diagonally. So I'm going to cut, I'll cut two out of this one and one out of the rest of them. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just need to put these in here assorted. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four over here. So there's my three churn dash B's, which I will pin together and set those aside also. So we finished the churn dash B's and I had some fabric left over so I cut, we need 40 squares for our flying geese and I cut four out of the remaining fabric. So I have five fabrics left and if I can cut, I need, so I need 36 pieces. So if I can get seven squares out of each fabric that would be 35 and then just one extra square. So. I want to, I've got all these together, and I want to square up this edge, and then we'll start cutting. Cutting our pieces. be able to get two pieces out of each one of these. So two times five is ten. So hopefully I'll get ten cuts. There's one. 
there's five. And ten. And then we are going to need just four, which we got here, four for the, uh, at the end we're going to need four corner blocks for the entire thing. So those are those four. So this is for the end. <clears throat> this is for the flying geese. And then the last thing we need to do is cut the rectangles for the flying geese. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will need 20 different fabrics. So I'm just going to pull fabrics <clears throat> and just start cutting some strips. There's our five rectangles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have 20. I'm sorry, not five. We have 20 rectangles now for our flying geese. And these are for our flying geese. And we are done cutting. So now it's time to... Um, we're going to set these aside. And we're going to start working on the hourglass. And that's what we're going to do today. We got all this cut and organized and then we're going to pull our hourglass pieces out and sew those together. Those shouldn't take very long. Okay, let me get my machine set up. Well, actually, here we go. Here's our flying geese. Here's for the corners of the quilt. These are our three churn dash and then all of these Together here are eight, this is churn dash B, these are churn dash A. Eight churn dash A's. And our hourglass is right here. So here's our hourglass, churn dash B, churn dash A, flying geese, corner of the quilt, and our binding we cut. So we've done a lot of cutting. Now we're just going to be doing some sewing. I'm over here at my machine, got all my... Um, hourglass pieces ready to go. I separated them in the beginning so each one that's pinned together is an entire hourglass. I'm going to put one together and show you um, how it goes together. So you want to you want to lay it out Okay, that's how we want it to go together. So we're going to sew these two together, these two together, and then when we iron them, we're going to iron the seams in opposite directions. So when we put this together, they'll nest and we'll have a nice little hourglass point. So I'm going to get started sewing these together. Okay, so we're going to iron these, but for now I'm just going to kind of finger press them. So if you press them towards the dark fabric, they will have opposite, their, the, seam, the seams will be ironed in opposite ways. So then it'll go together like that, and then we'll sew right down the middle. Okay, so 
In the case of the hourglass prints, always iron your seam towards the darker fabric. And then we will be able to nest them together. That's where we want to start, is right in the middle. You want to put those seams together. You can feel when it's flat, it is nested. So I forgot clips, so I'm going to borrow from here. I'm going to get these edges lined up. Get these edges lined up. And so our seam. So this is a seam we want to iron open. Okay, I've ironed my seam open. I'm going to check that I'm going to have a three and a half inch block. That's what we want to end up with. And I do. So I'm going to set this aside and I will go and cut all my, um, I will cut all these tails off and just, if I need to trim anything, I will on the ones when I get finished. So I'm going to finish the rest of these. Okay, we want to trim these up, get those edges trimmed off, get them trimmed to three and a half if they're a little over. And we got a nice little square block. How it's done. So there we go. We got our hourglass block started. Next up, we're going to be doing the churn dash A and B blocks in the next video. But basically what we learned with this one was to uh, lay them out and put them together here on this seam and then iron towards the dark fabric and then nest your seams in the middle and you get these beautiful points. And cut them down to three and a half inches, which gets rid of the tails all the way around. So, check out the schedule down below or on my website canaryquilts.com for when the next video is coming out. And it's, like I said, it's going to be the churn dash blocks. Yeah, churn dash A and B blocks for this. So, we've got those cut and they're ready to go. So, we'll see you next time.